Many creationists feel that chirality is not only a major problem for evolution, but even rises to the level of a dilemma. Dr. Charles McComb says, quote, Chirality is not just a major problem for evolution, it is a dilemma. According to evolution, natural processes must explain everything over long periods of time. However, the process that forms chirality cannot be explained by natural science in any amount of time. That is the dilemma. Either natural processes cannot explain everything, or chirality doesn't exist. Unquote. In the same article, Dr. McCombs used the words random and chance repeatedly in relation to the natural processes that were supposed to bring about chirality if they did at all. However, Dr. McCombs and other creationists commit several mistakes when they argue along these lines. Firstly, the issue of chirality is not a problem for evolution, but rather for abiogenesis. Since evolution is about descent with modification, not the origination and forming of the proper chirality necessary for life to arise. This is an extremely common mistake or dishonest tactic that creationists employ, which is to conflict the science of evolution with the science of abiogenesis in order to burden evolution with problems it does not have. Dr. McCombs is also wrong in his frequent reference to random chance. The left-handed chirality of many amino acids is not the result of chance in natural processes, but, depending on the solution employed, is the result of the laws of physics, a selection process, genetic drift, or circularly polarized UV, none of which are random or chance. So what are some viable and workable solutions for how many amino acids necessary for biological life got their left-handed chirality? The first solution is one that I cite from you, Meyer Henrik, from his book, Amino Acids and the Asymmetry of Life. The Bonner-Rubinstein hypothesis entails that circularly polarized electromagnetic radiation emitted from rapidly rotating neutron stars interact with interstellar organic matter, which is the precursor of the solid bodies in the universe, such as our planet. This mechanism facilitates the racemic constituents of the organic mantles of the stellar cloud grains to be asymmetrically photolyzed producing an excess of the corresponding more stable enantiomer in the grain mantles. Attenuated to abiogenesis, quote, teeny ice grain mantles can play host to important reactions when irradiated by ultraviolet light. Subsequently, the ice mantles become incorporated into the cloud that formed our solar system and ended up on Earth assisting the start of life, unquote. This is similar to the weak nuclear force producing electrons with left-handed spin. The second solution is a biological selection process that comes about as a consequence of the self assemblage required by abiogenesis such that the left-handed chirality of amino acids was selected for due to the fact that left-handedness is more stable on average than right-handed chirality and stacks better to form auto-assembled peptides. Further, left-handed helical structures form a greater efficiency and ease than right-handed helices with increased stability.